Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Sup, Corbroni, welcome you back to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Equestria Bound. Also, I've uh, upgraded to version 1.4.1, which won't make any difference of you know, what we've already seen, but it'll be good for the future. Now anyway, the point of this particular bonus video is because this store here exists. Uh, here we can save for free, uh, Bloom doesn't have an ATM card, so I can't uh, access the uh, ATM machine there, but uh, importantly, we have this store here, like I said, drugstore, where we can potentially purchase any number of uh, items, although some of them are kind of expensive. Although, note here the shipping label, otherwise known as the T-Rex bat in the original game, uh, including the universal weapons, this is like four weapon upgrades from what Dinky currently has, and it is totally purchasable right now. Well, not right now, right now, but, uh, you know, we're gonna have to put some effort into it. So, basically, how, what, in order to get this, we are going to have to sell, 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 sell all kinds of items that we, uh, get right now in order to, you know, get something beyond our current little two box. So, oop, not buy. Uh, including our boiled egg, which only heals, like, I think 40 HP, if I recall. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it sells for much, but this makes, uh, a big deal in the long run. And, uh, don't sell the broken spray can just yet, it doesn't really sell for much. And we're also gonna want to sell this bottle rocket, unfortunately, no matter how much that might seem to hurt. Uh, do not, by the way, confuse this with the bottle rocket from the original game. This is, in fact, the big bottle rocket, which has just been renamed regular <laughs> bottle rocket, whereas the other bottle rocket has been renamed now the pencil rocket, as it was in the original Japanese version. Uh, also different from the original game, big price increase for this weapon, or, well, item. I'll explain more about how these work later. But, uh, yeah, and the... Uh, the price of this uh, item has been doubled plus another $61, so it sells for a lot more than it did in the original game, making this whole process uh, just that much easier there. Uh, it may seem like it's, uh, you know, it hurt a bit to sell what is otherwise a really great item to have at this point in the game, but honestly, Bloom doesn't really need that particular, uh, well, the, that bottle ro the big bottle rocket or what have you, uh, until you really can purchase them. So, you know, we're, uh, good. That's all my muffins, right? Yeah, and don't sell the broken spray kit just yet. We cannot sell the broken drill, and I wouldn't want to anyway, because it's a far superior, uh, weapon to what we, what else were, we could even purchase, uh, in the very near future here. So basically, the way this is gonna work is, now that I have, uh, done all that, I want to keep on going and uh, fight various enemies and hope they drop items, which uh, they will, uh, well, you know, eventually here. Now, the runaway dog here and Bell's Will is the Parasprite are enemies we've seen around here, or before, but uh, this particular dog is slightly different than it was uh, when Dinky fought it. Uh, you know, it has all the same stats, the same experience, etc., etc., but now, well, uh, it has an increased uh, drop rate. Uh, it'll has a 50% chance of dropping a bread roll, which we can sell for six bits. Which you know will oh crap 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 no no no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's another enemy we'll find around here, the gruff goat. It's a little tough for ooh, for uh, right now. Not impossible, but uh, but kind of tough for right now. So I need to get past this jerk. Oh, freaking goat! Go away! Leave me alone! Leave me be! Thank you. Now this tent here is a nice little segue in from where we actually want to go. Uh, they'll serve us some tea, and which will heal us fully, for free. So nice. Interestingly, later on, after we've actually slept somewhere, this will turn into a sleeping place rather than an instant healing place. I mean, it's still, you know, instant healing when you sleep there, but, you know. Oh, yeah, also, we'll have, oh, yeah, we can meet the Parasprites, which have a 100% chance of dropping muffins, which, uh, as you saw before, sell for three uh, bits. May sound like a slow process, but, 
you know, it's it adds up ooh, adds up in the long run. That goat often appears right there. You could also meet a uh, runaway dog right there, and sometimes you'll meet both of them at the same time there as well, although they won't attack you simultaneously. Now, uh, right here, this is just an empty tent. It's always an empty tent. There's never anything in it. Just keep it in mind, because I'm going to basically use it as a checkpoint, if you will. Now, I'll talk to all these guys later. Why are you, like, in the tent? Can I do that? No? How did you do that? Is that, like, just has something to do with where you started, or...? Well, anyway. Yeah, I'll talk to all these guys in the not bonus video. So, anyway, we want to talk to this guy, who will give us some stew and also sleep. Where we will, well, first of all, get this little message here. But uh, the very first time that Bloom sleeps somewhere and has enough IQ to fix something, she will fix something by working through the night. In this case, fixing the broken spray can, which only requires one IQ. From here on out, though, every time, even if you do have enough IQ to fix an item, like the broken drill, which requires 12 IQ, uh, it will, you will only have a 1 in 4 chance of uh, fixing it. Although in the original game, apparently it kind of, you know, flip-flopped, you get 1 4th chance, and then after you actually succeeded at that, then you get 100% chance, but that doesn't seem to happen this time around. We got the defense spray here, which I don't really care about. It just increases your defense by, like, a level, and then, well, certain percentage, I forget exactly how much, and then it, you know, it's gone. Uh, this whole thing is going on right now, this is an event that we have to do to get to, like, progress with the plot, we just go down there, but, uh, I don't want to do that right now. Instead, I'm gonna just ignore it and walk, uh, back to the shop room. Ooh, quick! Go away, goat! So, uh, I'll just meet you there. Oh, actually, before that, yeah, one thing to keep in mind about the Paraspice, remember that they will... Ooh, they're just gonna try to steal from me. Yeah, they'll try to steal from you, and if and you'll know when they do, because they'll be slower than you for that turn. But, uh, fortunately, they always do drop a muffin. But, yeah, keep in mind that they might try to steal an item from you, which, you know, of course, will detract from your progress there. So, you don't want to really fight the Gruff Goat until you're at about level 5-ish. <laughs> so, you're useless to me. Bloom doesn't use MP. Anyway. Well, despite having a 50% drop rate, I didn't get any bread rolls from those dogs. But anyway, now that we will have the defense rate, we can sell it for a whopping 250 bits, getting us all the way up to 443, which is better than in the original game, where we would have had uh, 345 right now. So, yeah, the object here is to just, you know, keep walking back and forth, sell anything you can sell. Oop, no, don't buy. I mean, I could buy something now, but, you know, not yet. Until we get to, you know, not necessarily 669, or 698, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, what I want to do, or how this, you know, basically my particular way of doing this, is I want to basically just walk from here back to the, uh, the empty tent. Go away, goat! Avoiding goats until I get to around level 5, which, which case I can fight them, which they're worth 20 experience points, so well worth it. So, uh, anyway, will you give me a bread roll, please? You know, just to prove that you do. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to just walk it back and forth there like that. Or at least I would if I hadn't done this ahead of time. <laughs> oh, fine. So, yeah, anyway, the trick, yeah, there, like I said, I just want to walk back and forth between that and the empty tent, occasionally healing at the, uh, the tea tent there, or actually on every pass, just so that, you know, I don't die or something along the way, uh, until, uh, a couple of different things, potentially. So, once you reach the magic number of 614, which I happen to be one, uh, penny over, or one bit over, uh, you could, if you're feeling like this is taking too long, uh, potentially sell both your Holmes hat and your plastic wrench for 29 bits and 55 bits, uh, oops, respectively, which will bring you then to the magic number, of course, of 698 uh, to buy the shipping label. But I don't really suggest this because the... Even though we are going to get a, uh, a free weapon upgrade along the way, 
Uh, there's quite a number of rather tough monsters in between, and if you don't have your have a good weapon, that's gonna be kind of uh, really hard to get there. So, uh, and you know, again, also you might think, well, maybe I can get enough IQ to fix the broken drill, but that's not gonna take until you're around level 12-ish, which is gonna take a while. And uh, if you're gonna go that far, then you might as well just go out and you know, sell more items. So, what I personally prefer to do is to wait until I get to the magic number of 669, which I just so happen to get to exactly, and then only sell the home set, because having that low defense isn't really gonna hurt me that much, even though it's like minus 10 to my defense there, and I get to the magic number of 698. Now allowing me, of course, to buy the shipping label. Alright! Can't equip it, but that's alright, and unfortunately I have zero bits, so I can't prove that, uh... Well, if you have any money at all, <laughs> you won't have, uh... You know, with Bloom, like, over there in that little category, that'll just disappear once she meets back up with, uh, Dinky. So, if you sold, like, you know, like, 250 bits worth of money, that's just gonna disappear. So, anyway, I have the shipping label, and frankly... It didn't take that long, like, it only takes about 40-ish minutes to do, you know, depending on how often you meet Parasprites and how often the, uh, the dogs meet, or the, the dogs drop the bread rolls and all, so I'm actually gonna keep this, even though I didn't do that in any of my test runs. Which, uh, you know, so this is gonna make things a little more, more interesting as we, uh, continue with the game next time on Let's Play Equestria Bound. Arrivederci!